Uh, next news, Bungie. Not feeling great about Marathon. That's not good. No. The moon at Bungie at regarding its upcoming game Marathon is not great. Uh, appearing on the latest episode of Skill Up's Friends Per Second podcast, Bloomberg journalist uh, Jason Schreier was asked what the temperature check was at Bungie relating to Marathon. Not great from what I've heard, Schreier replied. Um, there's a reason that it's uh, it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year, and people that I've talked to are a little pessimistic about even hitting its current plan deadline, but we'll see. I don't know exactly when that is. Sometime in 2025, I'm not sure. Uh, he added, yeah, the sentiment I've heard is not great around it, at least of a few months ago. Trier also pointed out that the game received a leadership shakeup earlier this year when game director Christopher Barnett and executive producer Carrie um, Guskos left the project. Guskos? <laughs> Given his opinion on the highly on the likely reception to the game uh, when it's released, Schreier said he didn't feel that Bungie's fan base uh, would be enthusiastic about a PvP extraction shooter and that he was concerned its continued development may lead to a similar situation to that of Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Oh, foreshadowing for later. Suicide Squad started development in 2017 when live service was the hot new thing and because of sunk cost fallacy and endless delays and because there wasn't really an interest or willingness in canceling it because they had committed so much money to it, uh, there was just a belief that uh, we want to get this out. It's going to be cool. It came out and it just totally flopped, he explained. I worry about Marathon being in a similar situation where it's been in development for a while. It's entered development when extraction shooters were super hot. Uh, I don't know if that's the case anymore. Is Destiny not a live service game? I assumed it was. What makes a live service game? It's just constantly updated, always online, right? A live service. The service that Right, you're... well... I don't think he's arguing that Destiny isn't a live service game. He's arguing that Marathon will suffer a fate that other live service games have suffered. Right. Live service games like Suicide Squad. Not Destiny, yeah. but like a game like Suicide Squad started development when live service games were like at their most popular. Mm -hmm. But it came out so late in the game that like people are over live service. Well, well, when extraction shooters were popular. It entered... Right. The space well, when all the publishers were trying to force live service games on people. Right. I wouldn't well, say they were ever popular. Well, he's comparing what happened to Suicide Squad with what he fears is going to happen to Marathon. I know, and I, I'm i saying that's weird because Destiny has had a lot of success in their own live service well, games. Well, Destiny has, yeah, but other live service games haven't. Well, it's, That's he, the point. He could be saying because Destiny is now not doing He's, he could be saying that There's nowhere, live service games aren't Did you good. listen to what I, I read? I listened to what you said, There's, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm confused why the fuck he said that, because the whole company is live service games. But he didn't say anything about... He didn't say anything I about, know he didn't say anything about Destiny. That's why I'm confused, because Destiny is a live service game that did really good. Yeah, so Destiny's Marathon, not the problem here. I know. Destiny's not... I know. <laughs> they can make a good live service game, because they did that already. They're comparing it to a bad live service no, game. No, these doesn't... He's comparing the live service situation to extraction shooters. Yes. No, That's what he's, he's comparing it to. He's he's not comparing live service to extraction shooters. He's saying extraction shooters are a different thing. He's compa he compared he directly compared Marathon to Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad, which is a live service game, not an extraction shooter. Right. Yes. But which is the thing that confused me because Destiny is great and is a live service game. What he said was mm -hmm. Extraction shooters were popular a few years ago, but yes. by the time Marathon comes out, extraction shooters may not be popular Which anymore. Which is not the thing that confused me at all, and I don't care about he's that part. He's comparing it to Suicide Squad, yes. because Suicide Squad started development when live services were at their peak. When publishers were pushing live service games. Because they were popular. No, no this says... It entered development when extraction shooters were super hot. They, that's where marathon. does it say? Yes, wh where does it say? Suicide Squad started development in 2017 when live service was the new hot thing, and because of sunk cost fallacy and endless delays, and because there wasn't it, really an interest or willingness to cancel it because they had committed so much money to it, and there was just the belief that we want to get it out. This is going to be cool. It was the new hot thing. For publishers, it was never a popular thing. 
is what I'm saying. But it was it was popular enough because there were different live service games that were hitting. Fortnite, Destiny, PUBG. Those are all live mm -hmm. service games that were popular. And everyone sure. was trying to get on that bandwagon. Sure. The reason why I'm confused by this is because Destiny is great and they did a good job with Destiny. So why wouldn't they do a good job with Marathon? Because Marathon is a diff is going shaping up to be a different type of game. Apparently. It's going it's not gonna be it's gonna be different from Destiny. It's going to follow in, in the way that it is an extraction shooter. Yes. And that but they're not super hot right they're now. They're concerned that by the time Marathon comes out, people will be as over extraction shooters as they are live service games now. It doesn't matter that Bungie made a good live service game. If they could it make should. A, they could it make, should matter very they much. They could make a good extraction shooter. But if people don't give a shit about extraction shooters in 2025 or 2026, then nobody's going to buy this game and there's not going to be a Bungie anymore. Destiny 2 has been doing bad. Yes. And there were, we have read articles about that. And they could be thinking that uh, live service games aren't cool anymore because people don't like Destiny 2 anymore. But the real reason people don't like Destiny 2 anymore is because they're ruining Destiny 2. It's got nothing to do with the fact that people don't like live service games anymore. Destiny 1 was great. Destiny 2 was fine. And then they started doing shit that, that made people not like it anymore. Marathon could be great. It, I don't think it has anything to do with the landscape of games right now. I think that they're going to blame the landscape of games for making a bad game. That's what I think. And that's why I'm confused by this. Because they could just do what made Destiny 1 good in this and be fine. I'm tired. <laughs> I am... I... I don't... I don't think what... The Destiny situation... I mean, their morale is already low because Destiny has been doing poorly. Mm-hmm. And they just laid off a bunch of people twice. Yes. And they had got to get integrated into Sony. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's number one. Number two, part of Sony's initiative under the previous administration was they wanted to do more multiplayer games. And one of the hot multiplayer games right now is extraction shooters. So they decided to take marathon one of their oldest IPs, single player game and turn it into an extraction shooter the fear is that by the time the game comes out no matter how much time or money or effort they put into it people aren't gonna like it because you know for whatever problems they may have with it and that extraction shooters are not the thing anymore so there is real concern within Bungie that this is going to be their death, their death nail. And they're wrong <laughs> because they just need to make it a good game. People don't like bad extraction shooters. There's certain things where like games have uh, uh, moved past certain types of games. Like Halo Infinite, I think they needed to make things different. They can't just make a, a team-based shooter like Halo and have it be successful anymore. Right. That needs to change a little bit. But Marathon could be great as an extraction shooter if it was just a good extraction shooter. But are people going to play it? I you think know, Bungie, Bungie has just been sucking a lot lately, and they've been uh, uh, blaming everybody else instead of looking inward and being like, these games aren't good. Okay. You've been ruining these games. All right, so do you want... All right, so think about that. If Bungie sucks now, and they're trying to put out an extraction shooter that could possibly save the studio, yeah. But they put out a current Bungie game, which a bad sucks. One, you mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would ruin the studio yeah. and be bad. Yeah. So you can see that there's concern then within the studio. No, like, I could, I could see where the concern is, but. Yeah. Hey, we're not Halo Three Bungie anymore. Yeah, we're not even but but that but Oni that, Bungie. That's fucked up because they're being like uh they're they're blaming everyone else. They're blaming the landscape of games instead of blaming themselves for making bad games right now. I mean, I think part Let, of the, let's make a half-assed extraction shooter. People will love it if if gamers like extraction shooters. Well, 
we see this all the time where like you know developers want to make a specific type of game but the publisher will say no you have to make this kind of yeah. a game yeah, yeah yeah and it like it ruins morale it like ruins a live the game, service game like a live service game yes arcane wanted to make a sing a single player immersive sim style first person game and the the bethesda said no make redfall Microsoft and, said that they wanted to make a live service game. My, yeah, and <laughs> and that was wrong. So 